Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could say psych right now because I have never seen anything quite like this, okay? What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Yes, I'm talking to you guys out there, okay? What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Holy smoke, is it ain't no joke, is okay? Gamers going crazy right now because Ubisoft did say that gamers need to get real comfortable not owning over games. Guess what happens next? Gamers comes, gamers comes out and they say that we're gonna get real comfortable not buying your game, suckers! Like the video, like the video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, ladies and gentlemen, because you see, first of all, salute to Captain BBC out here, man. Captain BBC going crazy right now. We got Sweet Baby Ink in, this, in the news. We got Ubisoft in the news and gamers are just not stopping, okay? We're gonna get into it. Shout out to the homie Dr. Disaster. Uh, man, all the Japanese people are just like, you know, giving him the... It's kind of cute, right? Like, all the Japanese homies in Japan, while the Japanese homies are in Japan, they're giving the, the homie like, the, like, look at that, man. Damn, everybody's saluting, everybody's like bowing down right there. Kinda cute, kinda cute, but what could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? Uh oh, roll it. And Ubisoft is so desperate for acceptance of Assassin's Creed Shadows that they have used a Japanese so-called expert to prove that everything is going swell, and that actually, Japanese folks love Assassin's Creed Shadows. Trust me. No thanks, bro. Well, they've run into a bit of a snag with the situation because it didn't take long for Japanese yeah. folks to uncover the fact that this very unbiased and impartial expert is actually a consultant that does freelance work for Sweet Baby Inc., Polygon, and IGN. Oh man, I just read something here. Oh man, I first of all, I do apologize on their behalf, guys. I do apologize. They're never gonna apologize, so I have to be the one to apologize on their behalf, Bro. okay? You say it's crazy right now. It does say Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Oh man, guys, I, I do apologize, man, because I am also in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Yeah, listen, man, when I came here like uh, 15, 17, 18 years ago, something like that, right? It was pretty good, man. We were getting good games after good games after good games, right? In fact, I remember playing Assassin's Creed 2. I remember playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag even, Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah, it was legendary, man. Ubisoft was making like like banners after bangers after bangers, and now we're getting games that look like PS3. And damn, man, like the 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 homie, the Habibi said that. Uh, hey, man, hey, Ata boy, okay, stop right there, boy. But BBC Samurai is like, nah, fam, pow, son. Like, damn, like, oh my god, I cannot even watch that, man. That's that's crazy, okay? We got a whole lot of WrestleMania going on. Man, this is wilder than WrestleMania, folks. Like, holy crap, okay? Right, let's get back to it, boo-boo. That does freelance work for Sweet Baby Inc., Polygon, and IGN. Holy Rip. shit! This person was quoted in that recent New York Times article in defense of Assassin's Creed Shadows, and he was used as proof that actually the Japanese people completely love how this game portrays their culture and how Yasuke is being portrayed. But what it really shows is how closely this game and this company are tied to Sweet Baby Inc. and how desperate Ubisoft is to stem... Now, context, apparently, they were using him as, like, uh, an expert, and he he or she, I mean, I don't know, man, I don't want to assume genders. <laughs> I don't want to assume genders here, but, yeah. but, yeah, he or she said that it's all right. You know, Japanese people love it. Meanwhile, you know, they started petitions, man. <laughs> hundred, uh, last time I checked, uh, it had more than 100,000 signatures right that were like hey we need to cancel this game or at least they need to correct it uh, for people that do not know apparently people in japan understandably and respectfully they they don't like this because they uh ubisoft is rewriting their history their culture so therefore they were like hey please correct this hey do not like destroy our culture or uh, if you're gonna destroy the culture don't release the game so that was what the petition was for and, and you know what, Ubisoft is apparently now hiring that man or that girl and they're the so-called expert and they're saying that everything is good in the hood and apparently they got caught and they work for Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah, so, shocker, shocker, this game is affiliated by them and they, they are the one working. I mean, I cannot even watch this, man. Damn it. BBC Samurai going crazy right now. Shout out to Captain BBC! 
Damn, man. Like, I wish, like, all the characters were, like, this buff in video games. I love the fact that it's very, very buff, but, of course, wrong setting, and they're trying to destroy their Japanese culture. Uh, you know, they always do that, man. They always do that. They hate the Asians, and on top, like, you know, they, they are portraying Yasuke in a wrong way as well, so that, that's also very disrespectful to real Yasuke, because Yasuke was a real person, if you guys did not know, right? And they made him in certain ways which he was not but they were like nah bro that was your biggest accomplishment and we're gonna make you we're gonna make you right like so that happened as well so it's it's like crazy man damn damn and looks like that he's uh picking up the excerpt from sweet baby and okay so we're gonna let him do his thing and i right, let's get back to it and the bleeding from their plummeting stock prices. Unfortunately for them, they underestimate the tenacity of gamers who keep popping up out of nowhere to expose their empire of lies. Yeah. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, we're gonna ask him to dance in there. I right, let's get to it. Knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Alrighty then, it's time to discuss this thing that's going on with Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yeah. Ubisoft seems desperate as hell. This stock price freefall that they have been in for the past few months or so has probably been very difficult to handle for the leaders of this company, especially considering the fact that these days investors have openly been calling for them to lose their jobs, which they should. Bro, like, everybody's like... Everybody's like... Like doing that, man, what is going on, bruh? What is going on, man? Damn, this like is crazy. Dude. In fairness, the stock did see a slight uptick yesterday, but they have still lost right around 44% of their value in the past few months, and they are not in a very good place. Right now, the most important thing for Ubisoft is doing whatever they can to convince people to buy Assassin's Creed. Oh, please don't, don't tell me the dog is also going to be like, like that, bro. If that dog does it, man, my dog is going to look like this. <laughs> Yo, if my dog is already looking like this, my non-existing dog, by the way, guys. Come on, man. Jokes, guys. Jokes. Come on, man. Smash the like button, subscribe right Bruh. now. Creed Shadows. This is the game that everything is banking on. That's why they went out of their way to have this article here. Yo, he kind of, he kind of did this, bro. He kind of did this, man. It is over, man. It is over. It is over printed up by their buddies in the corporate media. Journalists are, of course, simply the mouthpieces of big business nowadays. They were originally meant to protect the people from abuses. Okay, so <laughs> he's like, eh, 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 eh. whoa, whoa, look at that, look at that, damn, damn, look at that, BBC Samurai, bro, like, damn, crazy. Yo, did you see that? I don't think you guys saw that, man. Simply the mouthpieces of big business nowadays. They were originally whoa. meant. He's like, whoa, 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 damn. Yo, that is crazy, man. Ubisoft, insanely racist, man. And of course, like, we, we caught them recently saying, like, you know, they don't like white people. They always use LGBT people and black people as shields. Always. They always do that, man. They always make black people gay in the game, right? And Yasuke was not, man. If he was in real life, if he was gay in real life, then totally. Of course, totally makes sense. But he was not. But they're like, okay, man, that was his biggest achievement. They always do that, that to black people, bro. Damn, these suckers like, crazy, bro. They do that. Brown people to them don't even don't even exist. Where's my representation at? As a brown man, I demand my representation. Ubisoft, man, is my Ubisoft. You guys always do that, man. You guys are always like inclusivity, diversity. Listen, man, I love diversity too. I love it. Uh, I'm not talking forced diversity. I'm liking like you know like I'm saying normal diversity. And if we're talking normal diversity. Damn! Damn! Where is my diversity? Hey, man, where is my diversity, bro? I demand my representation. <laughs> um, I'm just joking around, but but yeah, for real, right? Like they always say that they openly are being racist towards white people. They do that crap to black people, and they use LGBT people as shields. Uh, and, and to them, brown people don't even exist. Like these like, is crazy, bro. These like, is crazy right now. And the fact that man is like, hey, look, hey, whoa, whoa, BBC Samurai, BBC Samurai. I mean, bro, like, what the hell? What the hell? Damn, y'all suck like, us crazy, man. And y'all added, like, hip-hop music as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, hip-hop music, just because he black. Bruh, damn, you know, this is a most replay. You see this there? Why? Let me show you guys this. He did my head. You know, all is good in the hood. All is good in the hood, but then it's like... There's another. A There's another. A corrupt samurai named Fujioka. Protector turned persecutor. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. 
it's fire though. I like that beat, but wrong setting, man. Damn, y'all is crazy. Just cause he black did did that, bro. Damn, these like is crazy. To protect the people from abuses by governments and big businesses, but that has now printed up by their buddies in the corporate media. Journalists are, of course, simply the mouthpieces of big business nowadays. They were originally meant to protect the people from abuses by governments and big businesses, but that has now been inverted. They have been corrupted to the point that they protect the likes of Ubisoft from the people, which is the only reason that they would try to pass off this person here as an unbiased expert. This Twitter user here tweeted this. When we run it through the Google Translator, it says, I was informed by everyone about the case of Hashimoto Kazuma, who wrote in the New York Times that Assassin's Creed Shadows was well received in Japan, and that the criticism in Japanese was translated from English. Now, what he's talking about here is that in this article, this dingleberry sweet baby freelancer is claiming that all the criticism of this game on platforms like the comments section on YouTube and Twitter, those people that are writing in Japanese, they were originally written in English, is what he's claiming. And the people from the United States are basically just pretending to be Japanese. Basically, he's trying to undercut the entire movement against this game. But then, the tweet goes on to say here that this guy is a sweet baby Inc. freelance employee. He's a former Ubisoft and Square Enix consultant and freelancer who writes for for Polygon and IGN, and then down below, he provides an image which shows us that this is in fact the case. In other words, this jackass is about as far removed from unbiased as you can possibly get. Yeah. Just look at yeah. this image that was taken from this doofus's... Uh, hi, I wrote about Animal Crossing, New Horizons, and why acknowledging Japan's history of colonial rule is important to the, the discussion. Obviously, it doesn't cover everything, but feel free to read. Okay. Twitter account before he locked it like a coward. It says, Hi, I wrote about Animal Crossing New Horizons and why okay. acknowledging Japan's history of colonial rule is important to the discussion. Obviously, it doesn't cover everything, but feel free to read. And that should tell you everything you want to know about the sort of writer this person is. In any event, Ubisoft is clearly desperate to try to paint gamers as a minuscule vocal minority, but if that was the case, then wouldn't Star Wars Outlaws have done much better? Wouldn't Skull and Bones have sold well? It turns out people are sick and tired of these dog shit companies and that by and large, gamers are rising oof, up against them. Oof. The Japanese people who are annoyed at this game for how it portrays their history, they are no different. But image is everything in a culture war. And the tolerant, high and mighty, holier than thou progressives will do anything to appear like angels and to make us seem like snakes. But now that they're caught, this changes everything. I think it's fair to also start wondering about how close the relationship is between Ubisoft and Sweet Baby Inc., particularly when it comes to Assassin's Creed Shadows. I mean, just look at this old photo of the Assassin's Creed Shadows team. If you zoom in here, you can see Kim Belair, the CEO. Yeah! Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 papi, tranquilo, papi, papi, chill, papi, damn, yo, this image, I, at first, I thought that this was Photoshop, I still think it's Photoshop, I, I, I no, it's not, but, like, I, you know what I mean, right, because, like, it's, you know, it's, like, it's giving you one of those looks, uh, right, uh, and this chick is behind ruining video games big time, she ruined so many franchises, bro, so many video games, man, damn, this, like, is crazy, bro, and the fact that it's like hidden, she's hidden right there, it's like, you know, she's giving you that look. See, I'm, I was there, I was there, <laughs> I was there. Man, this is, this gotta be Comedy Central, bro. And the fact that people discover her right there, it's insane. Also, recently it was found out that Ubisoft was running mentorship program. Mentorship program, right? Where they are openly saying that men are not allowed. Like, yeah, bro, I'm not even making this up. That was big news just three, four days ago at this point, right? Something like that. Let's just say a week ago or something like that. But yeah, so they basically said that men are not allowed. Could you imagine, bro? Could you imagine? Damn, man. They are all about, like, empowering, strong independence. And listen, man, I, I, I believe in, I believe it that, yes, yes, equal rights, okay? Equal rights for the females too, bro. Absolutely. Damn, man. I want equal rights for my queens out there, for my beautiful queens, for my uh, uh, strong independent queens out there. But, but bruh, like bruh, bruh, like you guys are excluding half of the population by saying that men not allowed. What? What are we talking about, man? Like, damn. Did you know that most of their audience, most of the gamers are actually men? Yes, females do play it too, and that's perfectly fine though. But like generally, it's men. It's like the toxic men, right? Like toxic, toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity. That's what they always wanna say. That's what they always wanna call us as. Half of your, uh, half of the world population is men. And generally speaking, okay, 90% of the, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark, okay? Of course, there are some games where it's predominantly, predominantly and mostly female users, and that's perfectly fine. You know, different audience, 
for different uh, games, movies, and different media, right? And that's perfectly fine, though. That is perfectly fine, right? Like, there are a lot of makeup channels out there, and the audience is major ma majority, majority of the audience is actually females. That's perfectly fine. You know, there are a lot of things that men are good at, and there are a lot of other things that females are good at, too. So, it's like, be good, men are good at different things, females are good at different things, though. That's how it works, man. And some games are gonna be catering more towards the females, but generally speaking, like, the, the, the main games, the main... I mean, Assassin's Creed, for the longest amount of time, let's just keep it this way, right, was uh, primarily... The, the primary target audience was men, okay? Like, let, I'm, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, bro. That's how it was. So if you're just if you're gonna say like gamers should get Ubisoft said that by the way, gamers should feel comfortable not owning not owning our games. <laughs> and, and now you guys are holding mentorship programs and you're openly saying uh, men not allowed, men not allowed. It's only females. It's only females. It's like, bruh, what are we doing here, man? Like, damn, you you guys are so out of touch, man. You suck is crazy, bro. Since Creed Shadows team, if you zoom in here, you can see Kim Belair, the CEO of Sweet Baby, hanging out with them. The whole industry seems like an incestuous web of rats who scurry into the dark once any light is shown on them. But I would also like to remind everyone that if you visit the Sweet Baby Inc. page, even now, Ubisoft is prominently displayed on their site as a client. Now, I grant you that there has been no direct evidence that Sweet Baby consulted on this game. Sweet Baby is only known to have Not done work yet. on the crew. However, I would. Not yet be surprised at all if we found out that Sweet Baby did work as a narrative consultant on Assassin's Creed Shadows. In fact, at this Probably. stage, I go so far as to say that it's likely. And if word Most gets out likely, that Sweet yeah. Baby does have a direct tie with this game, then the likelihood of the game completely flopping becomes much more certain. At the moment, I guess that there's something... Uh, I want to show you guys this. Uh, shout out to the homie Yellow Flesh. Check this out. So, apparently there's like a whole lot of X-Defined mess going around as well with Ubisoft. And then there is uh, another situation that happened with the with the Assassin's Creed, with the BBC Samurai situation. We, we, like, that's raging wildfires right now. I mean, the fact that it, this was raging wildfires then, it kind of like slowed down. It was kind of chill, right? You know what I'm saying? And now it started once again because Ubisoft keeps on doing this, man. They, they keeps on doing this. And you know what? At this point, I'm convinced that YouTubers it's it's true it's true right like youtubers collectively uh like the amount of videos that have been made about concord S youtubers gamers by the looks of it youtubers the gaming youtubers right had made more money covering the concord drama than concord devs themselves <laughs> they couldn't even break 700 people at least on the pc right like that that's just insane that's just baffling for a games game budget that was like 100 million us dollars minimum uh, maximum we're hearing 200 250 million us dollars just crazy and, and right now like the stuff that's coming out about star wars about like the assassin's creed just insane man but check this out roll it going well for ubisoft here's another reason why they're not doing well even though they're, they're saying that they are doing well uh, ubisoft insists x define is absolutely not dying despite 94 percent xbox player count loss so this game they're saying is doing okay it's not dying it's 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 just fine the reason they're saying that is because their stocks are bleeding and the company is not in a good place. Of course. Skull yeah. and Bones is a failure. This game is a failure. Star Wars Outlaws is a failure. And Assassin's Creed Shadows is probably going to be a failure. Maybe it won't be. Uh, but they've been doing some damage control. Just like with this article, they're saying everything is fine. They're trying to act like everything is fine with Assassin's Creed Shadows. Oh, there's no problem with the Japanese market. They love the game. They love it. Love man. the they game. Love it. <laughs> they even put this article out a few... When was this? Last week? This came out or earlier this week? It wasn't that long ago. Uh, the New York Times posts this article. They're trying to damage controllers, saying Japan's fine with it. Look, yeah, we've got a Japanese consultant to talk about the game and, and say that everything is fine over there. It, it, and it turns out it's not a Japanese consultant. It's like a Sweet Baby Inc. employee or ex-employee, rather, on paper. Over there. But then people look into the consultant, and we find out that the person that Ubisoft and New York Times used in their little attack on critics article with the New York Times was a Sweet Baby Inc. employee. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Not only is this person a sweet baby ink employee, they're also an activist journalist. Yes, I know. Shocking. Really shocking. You can't believe whoa. it. It's wild and insane, right? Whoa, whoa. So I got a really good laugh out of this. This is funny. You can't make this shit up. Like, this is... I, I, I wish I could say psych right now, man. That is crazy, man. Just a couple of days ago, they, they said that men not allowed. 
<laughs> and now they're the high, they're like, hey, it's a Japanese consultant, Japanese consultant. Everything is good in the hood, man. Japanese people not mad, man. They're not mad. That's what Ubisoft is saying. They're saying that Japanese people not mad, even after we are rewriting their culture and history and dunking on them, right? Like crazy, man. <laughs> and it turns out that it's a fake. It's a it's a it's a fake wannabe Japanese consultant. That's insane. Man. Crazy. This is how you can tell that Ubisoft is kind of scared about this game. And you know why they're scared about this game? They're scared for the reason that Craig from Side Scrollers here, Side Scrollers podcast, says in this tweet: My insider told me that as of this morning, at their nationwide big box chain, Assassin's yeah. Creed Shadows has less than 800 pre-orders combined for Xbox and PS5 company wide. They have 900 stores that has less than one pre-order per store. Yikes. And I think this is probably the truth because he was right about Star Wars Outlaws and we got a lot of data to back that up. Though I hear claims now that it's actually selling good. It's still, that doesn't, like, to me, that doesn't seem real. I don't know why, I just cannot wrap my head around it. But the numbers for Star Wars apparently, allegedly, were true. And, and the fact that we're hearing that only 800 pre-orders, although that's, like, physical pre-orders, but from what stores, like... Uh, all the stores across America or is that like globally that part I'm not sure it doesn't seem realistic but if it is then holy crap man that is crazy bro only 800 physical disc pre-orders insane numbers and if that is true man shout out to gamers man shout out to gamers I still believe I still believe that this game is gonna do uh, decent I think it's gonna do better than Star Wars Concord I think it's gonna do better than Dustborn even <laughs> I think it's gonna okay, let's be real right like it's gonna do better than Concord and Dustborn combined and probably better than I guess Star Wars as well maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see but I do believe that with this amount of outrage and with this amount of like backlash out there understandably and rightfully so first of all the game is looking like PlayStation 3 Secondly, they're being racist towards everybody. Third of all, they're destroying Japanese culture as well. Fourth of all, the game, I mean, listen, the game don't look that good, okay? Like, is that what you call next gen? Imagine having RTX 4090, imagine having PS5 Pro, imagine having R uh, like Xbox Series X and playing games like that. Brad, you could have, yeah, right? Like, if, you, if you're still on PS4 or Xbox One, yeah, bro, there's, you li listen, man, there's no need for you to buy PS5 or Xbox Series X. I mean, there's like one or two games that are, I guess, exclusive, exclusive on the PS5. Oh, and uh, maybe Xbox Series X too. I don't know about Xbox Series X. I believe that every game they launch, uh, it's already on Xbox One as well. So in a way, like there's, there have been no reason. This generation has been real slow, bruh. Has been insanely slow. But guys, check out this video on the screen. Earlier today, we get, we ended up getting our, our first gameplay demo. Deadass for Battlefield 6. Okay, for the next Battlefield game, EA just revealed that. They revealed new screenshots, they also re revealed the gameplay demo, so it is happening, folks. Check it out if you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. 